What's up guys? Monkey Bacon here from Sock Monkey Development. Today is our third tutorial on Love2D. And in this one, we will be covering drawing images on the screen, which since you now know how to draw text, will be very simple. And yeah, so if you did not see the other tutorials, be sure to check out the channel. Subscribe so you can know when the next tutorial comes out. And yes, yeah, so let's get started. Um, so first thing we're going to need to do is get an actual image. So, Love2D handles a lot of image types. I know it's there's PNG, and I'm pretty sure JPEG. I'm not, I don't have an entire list of them. I'm sure you can find them on the Love2D wiki. But yes, so, first thing, there are a couple steps we need to do to draw an image on the screen. And first of which is loading an image, and then after that, we set the color of the image, and then after that, we finally draw the image on the screen. And yes, I know, it sounds very confusing, but I promise you, it's pretty simple. And just so you guys know, I'm going to explain to you guys one more thing about this drawing text from the last tutorial, which I didn't get time to cover last time. Um, we, what you can do to set the color, it's very simple. Uh, I want to, I was, I hope you guys could have maybe possibly guessed this is kind of, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, it's a, obviously a love dog graphics thing because it has to do with the graphics. Um, so instead of set font, print, or anything like that, it's set, capital C, and color. And just so you guys know, it's a pretty common thing in programming. When there's two words like set color together, either people, let's, let's use set color for example, but just think of any word, any two words that you have to use, but you can't use a space. So, because if you use a space, you can't say text one. You can't put a space there because the computer will think that these are two separate things. So there are two common th ways to do this. You could do text underscore one, or if this was a letter, you could do text, like, let's say we're trying to do E, we could do text capital E. Text underscore E or text capital E. In this case, in love dot, in love 2D, or love, um, they do capital letters to recognize that they're two separate words. Um, but yeah, so, set color, and we're going to talk about a thing called a color scale, a RGB color space, I'm pretty sure it's actually called, I'm not totally sure. Um, but it works in a way that a computer can understand what color you want to set the image. Um, in this case, the image isn't actually an image, it's just text. But it's still setting color all in all. Um, so, let's... Um, so... It's called RGB, RGB, red, green, and blue. So each color has a scale from 0 to 255, 255 being the brightest of the color and 0 being the lowest. Now I'm going to show you an example. Since 255 is the brightest, if we turn them all all the way to 255, the color would be completely white. And since 0 is the darkest, if we turn them all to 0, everything would be black. Or the color of that would be black. So Let's try to turn ours to white, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do this. So we're going to set the, the since RGB, red's first, so red's going to go all the way up, and separate this with the comma. Green's going to go all the way up, comma, blue's going to go all the way up. You can't do anything over 255, it won't work. Um, so now if we ran it, the text would be white, but that's default. It's already default white. Um, so let's do just a my favorite color actually. Let's do a little combination of colors. There are a lot of combinations in RGB color space, I'm pretty sure it's called. Um, it's just kind of, it's not like actual color mixing, it's a lot different actually. But if you mess around you find some colors and right now we're going to use one of my favorite colors and we're going to use kind of like that neon electric blue that I always love. And so to do this we need all green and all blue. So if you put a zero on red, we don't need any red, and just have all green and all blue, it'll be a bright electric blue. And you guys don't have to compress this because you'll see it on my screen right now. Let me open up my game file, delete this from the old tutorial, compress to dot zip, rename dot zip to dot love, and yes I do, run it, yay! See there's that awesome color? And yeah, there. By the way, there are a full list of love.graphics.blank, fill in the blank, on the Love2D wiki. 
Um, they're super helpful. There's a bunch of them that I will not mention because, I mean, there, there's some that are just a little little fun things, but there are some that are necessary that I will mention. But um, you guys should definitely check that out if you haven't already. And like I said before, in uh, one of the other tutorials, one of the other tutorials, I said to go check out the forums of Love2D. Love2D.org slash forums. Check it out. It's really awesome. If you have any questions about programming that I can't answer or I haven't answered one of these tutorials, if I'm not responding in responding to your messages because I'm so popular and I get all this fan mail, um, just post it on there and they will be sure to help you out. There's a bunch of people on there. They're really cool. That's how I learned to program. Just stay through the uh, left 2 d forms. Um, yeah. So, now let's get started with drawing images. Now, I'm going to delete all this. If you really love your text, you can keep it, but I suggest deleting it. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of all that. We can keep the font, just in case we ever use that again. So I'm going to use this one little picture I have right here that's just kind of like my text image. Or my test image, sorry. It is a .png, you just can't see it. it the extension is hidden. I took this with a uh, application that came with my laptop called Grab. It's a picture of Mario, which I talked about in the last tutorial. It's freaking amazing. And I got a million bullet bills flying by the screen at once. Um, yes, so, there, this is not, drawing an image on the screen is not much different than drawing text on the screen. First thing we're going to do is need to, first thing we're going to need to do is load the image. So, it's very similar to, uh, loading a font. I'll, we have to set a variable for a picture. I'm going to just name my picture equals and then it's a love.graphics because it has to do with graphics and then instead of new font we're doing an image instead of a font so it's new image. And this is kind of where it gets confusing. Uh, there are a couple of ways. We're Right here, right in between this quotation marks, we have to type the file location of where this picture is. So right now, since it's just right beside main.lua, it would be, all we'd have to type is bullet bill, or whatever the name of your picture is. Actually, let me just double check, make sure this is a .png. I have not checked. I was just assuming it is not. It's a T-I-F-F. -F. I don't know if that'll work with love. Let's hope so. Okay, anyways. So, bullet bill .tiff. Um. So this is if it was just right by your main.lua, right in your main directory. If you put it, let's say we made it a uh, folder called images and put it in there. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to just to show you guys. You'd have to type images slash and then put it. So it knows that to search for images and then search for that inside of images. So right now, whenever we use picture, it's the exact same as using that picture. Whenever you type picture as a variable, it's the same exact thing as using bullet bill .tiff or whatever you used. So now colors with images are a little tiny bit different. There are not a white and black. You cannot set your color completely white or completely black, but you can set it blue, red, green, and all those other fancy colors. This reason I'm not sure, but it's it's really helpful because if you just type if you set it white your image will come out crystal clear and really nice looking if you set it black it will come out black I guess you wanted it black but what I mean by this is it's it's a li it just acts a little different and you'll you'll discover this as you test around with drawing images and so right now I think I actually set well let's set, let's set the color let's just Love.graphics.set color. Let's just set it set it to completely white for now. And so in the last tutorial I actually said the command for drawing. I don't know if you remember it, but it is the exact same as love.graphics.print, but instead of print, it's draw. So love.graphics.draw. And the things in the parentheses are exactly the same, except for instead of text, you have to draw, you have to um, insert your picture. So it says R picture. Since we already loaded our picture, all we have to do is type in picture. And if you remember the first tutorial, this is exactly what I mean by love, love.load is really important. It's important for loading these pictures to keep you organized, all that good stuff. Um, also, if we set 
this, which I, try, I tried to explain this in the last tutorial, but it really won't make sense until we start getting into more advanced stuff. But if we typed all this in right here, it would lag insanely a lot of craziness. But again, that'll make a lot more sense in later tutorials. And it might not, I mean, it doesn't, it's just organization, but it'll all make sense later, I promise. Um. So, we have drawn the picture, now we just need to give the x and y coordinates, like before. So, I'm going to draw it 200, 200. Guess what? You just drew that picture on the screen. You are amazing. You're getting good at programming, sir, I gotta say. So, <laughs> we are going to compress these items. And, like before, compress all of the items in here. So, I open up my game. Inside of game, make sure you do not compress your game folder. Only the stuff inside of your game folder. So... Select every single thing that's in there, except for, like, the sub-files. Like, don't go in here and then select this, and then go back out and select all that. First of all, it won't work, and second of all, it's not how you do it. So, just go like that. Compress two items. Archive dot love. It'll, the default name for a compressed dot zip, by the way, if there's more than one file, is archive, in case you guys didn't know that. On, at least on a Mac. And so now, when we run it, bullet build dot tiff does not exist. Or bullet build. I I'm sorry, guys. I I've done this way too many times now, which is twice, but it shouldn't be that much. I think it's just. Do I just? I, it's because it doesn't say dot tiff, isn't it? But it is a dot tiff file. So sorry, sorry. I'm going through all this stuff right now. Oh, I, oh, I see. What? Oh my god, my. Oh my god, that was bad. That was bad. Okay. Lowercase tiff. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay. So now, when I compress all this, blah, 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 blah. And next time I have an error, I'll explain the error screen a lot more. Could not decode image. That, this is an error because it's a dot tiff. Hopefully it worked for you. Dot tiffs don't work with Love2D, apparently. Yeah, sorry. That was a really bad example. Probably pretty, pretty disappointed in me. I, I'm really sorry. Um... I'll try to do better next time. I'll do at the beginning of the tutorial, of the next tutorial. I promise I'll have a full working .png up on my game window as soon as it starts. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a, a little warm up. I want you to draw the title. Okay, draw a picture on the screen, and then label it with text, and make the text that awesome electric blue. There you go. If you can do that, you are on the road to programming. If you can't, then start studying, fool. Um, yep, so this has been Monkey Bacon with Sock Monkey Development. Hope this helped. Rate, comment, subscribe, love me.